I, I guess I want to ask you a question about a trillion trees. It's something mm -hmm. that uh, has cropped up in the common parlance over the last number of years. And uh, where are we at in terms of that? And I guess why, why is that uh, an important goal? Is it going to uh, really make a dent in climate change? Uh, where do you stand on that? Well, Matt, I'm really glad you started there because I think in some ways uh, the Trillion Trees movement is one of the best things that ever happened to forests and climate change. It's also in some ways been one of the most challenging as well. Um, and um, and I think the, the, what it has done, what the Trillion Trees concept um, has done, and, and for anyone who's not familiar with this, uh, the vision is um, that by conserving, restoring, and growing an additional trillion trees, so basically creating a net gain of a trillion trees, uh, that we could produce a profound uh, gain in terms of the additional amount of carbon that we could capture uh, and store uh, in our forests. And, and some projections suggesting it could be more than 200 uh, billion uh, metric tons of, uh, of carbon dioxide, additional carbon dioxide that would cap be captured um, by doing that. And that's based on some, uh, some really important research that was done uh, globally. And so when that idea of, of a trillion trees, it's a huge number, it's a, it's a giant kind of a moonshot type of an aspiration. When that idea was first advanced and ultimately taken up by a coalition that we're very proud to be a leader within called one t.org um you know really picked up the mantle and said how do we get everyone in from governments to girl scouts working on that vision um the great news was it was it, that it really rallied a lot of support and got a lot of public uh, interest um the challenge is uh that i think people sort of got tunnel visioned in some ways some people misinterpreted the vision around a trillion trees they thought it meant planting a trillion trees and kind of without any regard to what type of trees or where um, I think there, there are also, um, uh, because it's a big global vision and it's been a big global analysis, uh, some of the, the finer scale and quite frankly, more uh, clearly defined science around what we need to do, say at the scale of the United States, has gotten lost. And so it's kind of become a, a, a little bit of a target for skeptics um, who feel like um, not only are they not 100% sure about the science, which I promise you is very sound, uh, but second of all, I think sometimes people hear a trillion trees and they've sort of then jumped to the conclusion that it's somehow uh, instead of other things that we need to do on climate change. And there isn't anyone involved with trillion trees who's saying that. I mean, one of our organization's foundational principles is we are the oldest forest conservation organization in the United States. We work every day to make forest and forest products the biggest possible solution they can be to climate change. And we will be the first one to tell you, we absolutely cannot under any circumstances solve climate change with trees and forests alone. I mean, it's just absolutely no chance. Um, but what's really interesting is all the science shows we absolutely can't solve climate change without contributions uh, from forests uh, as well. And so, um, you know, sometimes I think people, the trillion trees idea has kind of over uh, written that um, that that fundamental principle that we and others in the forest community have worked so hard to say is uh, you know let us help let us do our part and the trillion trees vision and that is a metric of progress is a really nice way to frame uh, that ambition and to bring a lot of folks in uh, to do it and again I think one t.org this coalition that we've been proud to help support in, in concert with the World Economic Forum and, and Salesforce, a number of other great partners, I think has been one, one valuable tool to, to rally the forest climate movement.